the BCS tube mill tooling regrind and database system. Welcome to the BCS tube mill tooling regrind and database system overview video. This system is designed to integrate with the BCS tube mill tooling design program to import new roll data and keep electronic track of tooling regrind costs and production. Before we begin to look at the operation of the regrind and database system, we will take a moment to review the database files created and used by the system. The system creates the following. One, a single database file to contain all customers. Two, a single database file that contains all of the role drawings. Three, a single database file that contains all jobs created, new and regrind. Four, a separate database file containing original role data for each tooling set. Five, a separate database file for each regrind report. The customer database file contains the standard information for the customer, such as customer name, customer number, address, phone, contact, and so on. The drawing list database contains the basic information for the particular set of tooling, such as drawing number, tube size, gauge, mill, current undersize, number of regrinds, and, it's, and so on. The job database file contains job number, origination date, date required, and date shipped. The original role database file contains the basic role dimensions for the regrind, such as radiuses, roots, rims, and widths. The regrind database file contains the original roll data at three separate stages, the original, before grind, and after grind. We use the term grind here only because when the reconditioning of rolls was first implemented, grinding the rolls was the only alternative. Presently, all rolls are recut on an NC lathe machine. The terms grind and recut will be used interchangeably. The system also includes the following features. One, cost tracking. Two, production tracking. Three, cost versus production tracking. Four, current role undersize tracking. Five, future role life estimation. Six, report generation. Seven, a search and report program to find particular sets or jobs based on selectable criteria. Eight, inventory's original roll data for all tooling sets manufactured for a quick quote reference. Nine, the regrind report form also includes automatic routines for the following. Automatic column copy, import original roll data, calculate fields based on current undersize, import previous regrind data. The system comes in two versions, a read-write version and a read-only version. The read-only version is designed for tube producers themselves who simply need the ability to import the completed regrind data, update their costs and production, and generate reports. The read-write version is designed for tooling manufacturers who have numerous customers, regrind jobs, and drawing files that need to be created, modified, and stored. The video is divided into several chapters that are represented by the topics listed in the operational sequence segment. Creating the original roll data file. Once the drawing number header information is entered into the drawing database, you can create the original roll data file by importing information generated by the BCS tube mill tooling design system version 5.0. The tube mill tooling design system generates an ASCII file that contains all of the ro original roll information in the proper sequence. Importing this file will automatically fill in the original roll data input screen. From the drawing number list screen, highlight the desired tooling drawing number and then click the drawing number options pull down 
in the upper left corner of the screen. From the pull-down, select the Import Original Role Data option. If the original role data has previously been entered for the current drawing, it will be displayed on the screen. If this file does not exist, the system will display a dialog panel informing you that it does not exist and needs to be created. For our example, we are creating a new drawing set, so the warning panel will appear. Simply click OK. To import the original row data file from the BCS tooling design system, pick the Forms option, pull down, at the top of the screen. Then select the Import Original Data File option. The import screen will appear. The original rolled data files are stored in the C backslash BCS REG backslash import directory. So set the directory list box to that location and the current available files for importing will appear. These file names represent the job numbers used in the BCS tube mill system. For our example, we will select J60961-113. Once it is highlighted, it is automatically appears in the file selection dialog box. Set the import type to complete and press the import button. The system automatically fills in the original role data form. If you do not utilize the BCS tube mill design system, you can manually fill in all of the role data at one time. The original role data is stored in this file so it can be imported into any regrind or new job for this set of tooling. For example, if you have six regrind jobs for the same tooling set, you simply import this original roll data file into the separate regrind forms instead of manually entering all of the data for each regrind report. If at any time the rolls have been modified, you can simply edit any of the cells on the original roll data form. Save the newly imported data by picking the file pull down menu and selecting Save Original Data File. A panel will be displayed and the file name for the original roll data file will be shown. Click OK. Close the screen and return to the drawing number screen.